Asgothica has just finished his new mod called Ectomongers Yog Creatures. This mod is the second mod in a series of religion based mods, which are essentially a big refactor of his old mod Magical Frowls, which I've previously featured on this channel, but it also adds a lot of new stuff as well. The new mods are more specific and also make more sense in terms of lore. In Ectomongers Yog Creatures, you get access to fleshy and foul types of undead like zombies. You're also able to create various Lovecraftian monstrosities, like the Bishop of the Void. So far he's completed the mod for Set, and also the mod for Yogg, but in the future there will be one for Mitra, which will add spirits and stone warriors, one for Dekedo, which will add lots of nice undead minions, but also in the works are mods for the other more obscure gods in Conan's universe, like Hanuman and even Dagon. This is all very exciting, and there's a lot to come. To begin, the first thing you need to do is make this special soup. Then once you have it, you need to consume it, and then do the yog emoji. Translate worship, and then yog. And then you get the secrets of yog. So let's take a look at the lineup. First, we've got the yog worthless, which is a lowly corrupted being. It's about 500 hit points. It's not meant to stand like this, it's meant to have a custom animation. But due to a bug, unfortunately it stops working after you replace it. It's very tricky to get this to work and Ars Gothica is working on a fix for that. Then we've got the Soul Corruptor, which is this guy. Very strong. He hurls um, orbs in combat. So he's kind of like an, a ranged combatant. Then we've got the Worm of Putrescence, which is this nice guy. And he is like a stationary turret. He sits there and shoots globs of crap at the enemy, which is really nice. Then we've got this awesome guy, which is my favorite thing in the whole mod. The Bishop of the Void. He's got a diverse range of attacks. He's got a couple of different melee attacks. He can get down on his knees and shoot out some kind of breath of toxic gas at the enemy, which is really awesome. He also is meant to have a custom animation. I can show it to you here. Um, you see how he's kind of standing in a unique sort of way. But then in a minute he'll stand upright again. Yeah. That's another thing that will one day be fixed, hopefully, if it's possible to be fixed. Then for the undead, we've got the undead fighter, which is this little guy. He, like the other skeletons, can use whatever weapon you give him. Just put it in the first slot, and it has to be a one-handed weapon. Next, you've got the undead archer. I don't believe you can give him a custom bow, but let's try it. Nope. So he's stuck with what he's got, which is probably good enough. Then we've got the Mindless Zombie, which is a very strong minion actually. Very good in melee. And then we've got the Rancid Zombie, which is like the Mindless one, but it does a bit more damage and it's just a bit stronger generally. Then we've got the Undead Hyena, which is larger and stronger than the normal Hyena from Funcom, I believe. And finally, we've got the Zombie Imp King, which is an Imp King zombie, basically. Very strong minion. But the strongest is by far the Bishop of the Void with 15,000 15, hit points. In addition to the minions I just showed you, you can also create these. These are people who've been dragged to the Altar of Yogg and transformed into some kind of hideous abomination. Look at them there. They've seen better days, for sure. The benefit of using these frows is that they have a poisonous touch, so every attack they deal, deals poison damage. And they're also immune to poison. This poison immunity is actually more useful than you might first think. It means they can wage straight into poison clouds thrown by the Yog Corruptor. The Lovecraftian creatures are crafted in the pit of Yog, and the 
cheapest of these, the worthless, only requires a few ectoplasms and a dismembered human corpse. All of them require dismembered human corpses though, which is interesting. Makes me think they're actually all kinds of undead, which is even better. To get dismembered human corpses, all you need to do is craft a necromantic cleaver of yog, like this. And then once you have that, you just use it on a dead human body. To get ectoplasms, what you can do, if you've got no ectoplasms yet, is you can just make a normal yog cleaver. Then go and harvest some corpses and get some unblemished human meat. And then from that you're able to make your first ectoplasms. But the better way to do it is to create these orbs of ritual fire and throw them down on corpses which will summon a kind of ghost which you can harvest them from, like this. To get the ectoplasms from the ghost, you need to be hitting it with a special sword. The sword is called the Defari Void Crystal Sword, and you can make it in the Altar of Yog as well. It's best if you can equip a few thralls of these swords and have them hitting the ghosts as well. That's the best way to get as many ectoplasms as possible. To make undead, what you need to build is this corpse preparation altar. When you open it, you'll find all the recipes for the various undead. As an example, I'll just create this mindless zombie body. Then once that's done, you take it and you put it in this other structure called the zombie cage. And here you can craft the actual frow object which you put into the ground. Now regarding these various ingredients, some like the weathered skull and bones you can get by shredding a dismembered human corpse like this. Once you shred it, you'll see that you get an extra skull, some hide, and some more bones. Now to make these corrupted bones, it's a little bit more involved. I'll show you how to do that right now. One way of making the corrupted bone is to do it in the pit of Yog. You'll see it just requires some powder of corruption and some normal bones. To make the powder of corruption, you just need some void ectoplasms, bone meal, and putrid meat. But there's a far better way of doing it than just making it in the pit of Yog. You see this brilliant stone mill here, or rather bone millstone. You can fill it up with the ingredients you need to make this improved powder of corruption. And then the skeleton here will just toil away at it, making all these dusts for you to make corrupted bones with. The only thing left to explain now is how to make these wonderful corrupted frows like this. I really love how they look. They're so disgusting. First you need to take your slaver crew out and smash some poor fella on the skull. Then hook him up to your chain and drag him back to the altar of Yog. Once he's on there you can put some special undead gruel into the altar and he'll be transformed into an abomination. You can do this to any kind of frowl, including worker frowls like blacksmiths, carpenters, etc. The benefit of using these frowls, aside from their ghastly appearance, is that they're immune to poison damage, and they also deal poison damage with every attack, regardless of weapon. Needless to say, I love this mod. These minions are just insanely cool, and they'll probably get even cooler over time. I believe Asgothic has plans for the Yog Corruptor minion. Right now he's throwing orbs, but he hinted that he's supposed to be a kind of sorcerer. In time he'll probably look more like a sorcerer and less like an abomination. I'm scoring Ectomongers Yog creatures a 10 out of 10. It's thanks to Arsgothica's fine mods that I'm able to enjoy and play Conan Exiles as much as I do. I hope you enjoyed this video, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos on necromancy stuff. Before I go. Here's a little teaser trailer from Ars Gothica showing some of the future minions that will come in some of the later mods.